Hi guys, my name is Chelsea and today I am doing a sexy Valentine's makeup demo on my lovely model Catherine. Um, we've already airbrushed her, so we're just going to get going on her eyes and kind of show you how to do the cat eye and the bold red lip to contrast. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. So first we're going to start with the skin. Um, unless you are doing a dramatic eye, it's always okay to start with the skin first. And in this case, I did airbrush first. Um, and when you're airbrushing, you always want to apply in a circular motion six inches away from the face, making sure you go around evenly. Um, and whatever foundation you use, definitely mat it out with a powder and apply a bronzer and blush. Next, we're going to go to the eye. Um, we're definitely doing a stronger eye today, uh, but not too strong. And first, you're going to go in and prime the eyes. I definitely want to use a shadow shield to make it a clean angle on the eye so that when you look from the side, the eye makeup just looks really clean. And then definitely you want to go in with a vanilla or a cream shadow and underneath the brow bone to accentuate the brows. Next we're going to go in with a medium brown shadow and blend softly in the outer corner and in the crease. You can add a little bit of black to kind of enhance it and make it look a little bit darker, uh, but you definitely don't need to. It's just up to you how dark you want to go. Um, and repeat until the desired darkness is achieved. Then you want to go in on the inner lid and kind of add a little pop of shimmer. I put a little bit of an off-white called Vanilla from MAC. It's a loose pigment. Um, it just creates a contrast when you go in and add a little bit of a lighter shimmer shadow, especially if you're just doing a cat eye or a smoky eye. It's perfect. The next step is a cat eyeliner, and you don't have to go crazy, it just depends on how bold you want, if you're going out, if you're staying in for Valentine's, but definitely you want to apply from the outer corner of the eye inward, and you want to stop about halfway in the eyelid, and then you're going to go in on the opposite end and start from the inner eye outward to connect that line, and that way you just get a really straight clean line instead of trying to apply one straight line. Next, we're going to go and perfect the brows. I like to say perfect the brows because we're not going to go crazy. We're just going to go with her natural brow shape. We're just going to enhance it a little bit. And I love to use the Tarte Cream Pot. You can get it at any Sephora or any Ulta. And in her case, since she has dark brown hair, I'm using the rich brown color from Tarte. And definitely you want to buff it out at the end. And then apply mascara and false lashes if you need. But in her case, she has lash extensions, so she didn't really need much. And the last step is the lips. And in this case, you can kind of tweak it a little bit if you want to have a red lip for Valentine's. Make sure you tone down the eye makeup, especially the eyeliner on the bottom. You don't want to have it be too overwhelming. You kind of want to focus on the lips if it's a red lip. But in this case, um, I went with a plum because I wanted to enhance her really beautiful brown eyes. Um, and so I applied a lip liner called In Anticipation from MAC. And then I went in with a lipstick called Twig, so it's kind of more plummy, but I liked the mix of a plum and a pink in her case. And then I added a gloss from Bobbi Brown. And voila, 